Class is a Python framework that allows you to build web application. But in order to use Flask, you have to install a lot of libraries and dependencies in your local system. That takes so much time and space. That's why we are going to use Google Colab. It's Google Colab is an online Jupyter notebook where you can write Python program in these small cells and execute them. So let's see how we can write. So web application means HTML code. So how can we write the HTML code here? In order to do that, if you want to uh, display any HTML file using Flask, you have to create a folder as templates. So how can we create templates folder here? So for that, we have a command as make directory in Google Colab MKDR. And because I want to create folder with templates name, so I'm going to write templates and then minus P. So uh, after writing the line, you can simply run this code and you can see that here it's it's working. So if there is no error, you will get a green tick. So I, we have already created templates folder. Now it's time to write the HTML code in this folder. So for that, we are going to use command as write file in Google Colab. And then because we want to write inside the templates folder, we are going to put the folder name. And now because I want to keep the name of my HTML file as index.html, I'm going to do that. Now here you can write any HTML code. So I'm going to write HTML body. And I'm just going to write one text. Welcome to Pi Friends 42. And you can close your body tag and close your HTML. So uh, let's add one styling as well, a very simple styling for this. So I'm just going to put style tag here. So here you can put any HTML code. You can also copy and paste from uh, from other sources as well. Okay, yeah, we have missed one percent sign, so that's why it's giving the error. Yeah, so now it's working. Now let's see how we are going to write the Flask code. So first we are going to import OS and then import threading because we are going to execute this Flask code in a separate thread. And then we are going to write from Flask. First, let's see. First, let's run this. And to, to, uh, as we are going to host this Flask code in ng-rock server, uh, basically ng-rock will just it will give you a public URL which which you can use and accessible only for six hours. So instead of deploying this code in a local host, I'm going to deploy this in ng-rock server. So how first let's install that here. Otherwise, it will give you error. So this is the library PyNGROC. Let's install. Yeah, and now let's import, uh, import Flask. I have imported this file render template in order to render my HTML file and display it. Bye. 
we have to import ngrock as well from this py ngrock that we have installed before now here we are going to build one environment i'll keep this environment name as flask And as we have to initialize this uh, flask, so we are going to use this app. I provide the port as well, five thousand, and then. Uh, so in order to use ng rock before it it was it used to be free but now it requires authentication token authentication token is not nothing but a key that you require to provide it here so that you can use this ng rock so how can you get this authentication token you can go to your ng you can just go to ng rock you can log in uh, to the ngrock website and you will easily get your authentication token you will you can see it here so i'll just copy this sorry and paste it here and now we are going to connect this with public url so we are going to connect our local url with ngrock so for that there is a function as ngrock.connect and this port is for my public url so i am going to connect it with ngrock and here i'll just print whether it's showing me that url or not Comment. I'm going to show that public URL here. I'm going to put. Now let's configure this. So basically, uh, Flask work on several API and root. So here we are going to pass the root. So for by default, if you pass it like this uh, with this dash, that means it will take you to uh, index.html by default. Uh, I mean the main page. But here, if you if you have a lot of HTML files like home.html or about.html, then here you can pass as about. And then it will if if your uh, website if anyone open uh, anyone is root to about then it will render this code. But for now this will just take us to our main file. So here I'm going to use render template function, and you can provide your file name that is index.html. And now it's time to run the flask in a separate thread these are some by default code that you will easily find in ngrock server dot start function in order to start this thread and now let's see
Okay, Let's just comment this line. Actually, I have already used this authentication token, so now it's not letting me to use again. So now I so I have changed this uh, authentication token with new one. Now let's run this. So you can see here you will get to URL. This one is our local URL that is uh, local host. And this one is the ngdoc URL. So if you click on this link, it will give you your HTML output. So similarly, you can also create your uh, new CSS file and a new directory for a different different file. And you can link them in your, uh, you can write the Flask code and you can link your, uh, link and render your template here. And you will get one ngdoc URL that will be accessible for six hours. And along with one local host URL, if you don't put ngdoc and if you directly simply run the Python code, you will only get this local host URL, which you can't share it with anyone. But if you are creating some application and want to test whether it's working or not, and if you want to share that link with anyone, so for that, it's ngdoc is very much useful. So you can see this is our output. So that's how you can run this Flask code in Google Colab.